everyone uh, today we're going to talk about the cyclic group uh, that has just been added by click as a functionality uh, I'm working on the cloud so first I'm gonna uh, show how we can create a cyclic group so you can go to master items and then click on dimensions and then click create new and you can create dimension a single dimension drill down these options were already there and now we have the option for cyclic group and you can add the cyclic group here uh, you can choose the dimension that you want for example I want customer country and I want then city and let's say I want category name and let's add product as well and let's say add year in here as well okay if you just have noticed so there is no specific order uh, there is no drill down no hierarchy they are just random dimensions so you can add in cyclic you can add anything so i can so i will say the random dimensions and i hit create okay so that's completed now we have the random dimension okay so there is an other already a concept called alternate dimensions available uh, within charts uh, i have ordered that already as in if you can see you know i have uh, added alternate dimensions and i can change on the runtime i can change the analysis dimension for example i have margin and i can change that here and the same dimensions i have over here yeah. but in order to create this if i want to have this one I need to add these dimension individually to each of chart. So in many cases we want alternate dimension on multiple charts. So every time we have to add them. But in cyclo group, it basically what it does is it I can just create one chart as an example. I create this chart here. I just pasted that here. And then I can, you know, uh, just add this random dimension here here we go and also I char add this chart so instead of adding you know all those four dimensions I can just go in here and I can add this random dimension here okay. so this works on the runtime and you know uh, another benefit of this one is that I can cycle through and once I change it country, the other dimension changes as well. So you can get a consistent view. So in some cases I have, for example, I have different measures. So, and I want to see, you know, whenever I change the country, the view should change for everything, for all the charts. So this can help. But if you want the view to be different for other, like for this chart and this chart, the view should be different. Uh, you want to change them manually one by one, then alternate dimension is the answer. Uh, but uh, if you want to use this one, you can use cyclic group. Uh, but the cyclic group was uh, in click view and it was very popular and it was uh, it's, it's really interesting. Uh, it gives you a lot of flexibility while doing the analysis. As an example, let's say if I can select this product, so it's much more than uh, you know um, drill down. So let's say I've, then I, I go by cycle. Uh, I say okay, it's cork. So within Cork, then I say, okay, you know, that is a city. Now I want to see further products in there. What are the products? These are two products in here. And let's say I want to see the sale by year. So I can say the sale by year. So you can um, uh, you can go by different angles here, uh, however you want. And in cycle group, you see everything is changing. So I can see, you know, this was a sale. This is margin. This is percentage uh, margin. Uh, so I can see the things uh, right away. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos.